After a two-month break, the Senate resumes its probe into allegations that Vice President Jejo Marbinay dipped into the city coffers of Makati, where he was mayor for over two decades. But in 2015, the Senate goes beyond the borders of Makati and into groups and organizations associated with Binay, the Pag-ibig Fund, and the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. Binay, chairman of the Pag-ibig Fund, supposedly used his position to bag contracts for favorite companies, including Omni Security, which got billions from Makati City contracts in the past. But Pag-ibig President and CEO Darlene Berberabe denies the accusations. I say that this is most unfair because Pag-ibig has been known especially in the last four years for its excellent performance and integrity. We have been very vocal in our collective stand against corruption. Bina is also accused of shortchanging the Boy Scouts of the Philippines in a land deal with developer Alpha Land. Bina has been the national president of the BSP for over two decades. Chief Whistleblower and former Boy Scouts Vice President Ernesto Mercado says Bina used his kickbacks to fuel his 2010 campaign. Isinangla po yung lupa ng Boy Scout sa Development Bank of the Philippines. Kaya po, sabi ko dyan, dito na nagsimula ang pagluluto nila BP Binay at ng Alpalan sa Boy Scout of the Philippines sa sarili pong mantika ng Boy Scout. The Binay camp, as is always the case, denies the fresh allegations against the Vice President and calls on whistleblowers to show real proof. But this is not just about proof anymore. It is also a perception game. The question is, Will Vice President Jejo Marbinay win this game as easily as he wins elections? Beko Pin Rappler, Manila.